Good evening, Jason Lincoln joining you here from the I'm the Mighty Quinn enclosure and uh, this is brought to you courtesy of www.perthinnerdominion.com.au so be sure to visit the website for all your uh, late your uh, late mail and news in relation to the upcoming Inner Dominion feature here in November. Uh, good things for tonight. Did find it a difficult night. I thought a lot of the favourites were arguably under the odds. Uh, I felt that probably the best bet of the evening on the program, sorry, was Daniel John in the standing start race, race four. He was a uh, an excellent winner of the Kalgoorlie Cup recently, where arguably he did meet his, uh, his competitors much better off uh, for the handicaps. Comes back to uh, city grade here, 10 metres, shouldn't be a massive problem. He's a horse who can do work in his races or uh, he can be sat up and he does have a very good turn of foot. So I think at around about the $2.50 mark, he represents uh, pretty good value and I think he, he appeals most as the best bet on tonight's program. Looking for a bit of value, I thought first of all race two, number 11, the Featherfoot. Arguably he doesn't win out of turn and uh, he's possibly uh, as a betting proposition you might want to uh, you might want to uh, stagger your bets more heavily towards the place side, but he's trying to get a very good not good run tonight. The Featherfoot arguably uh, goes much better following the peg line, and uh, when he can come off speed, Millwood Faith looks like she's going to start a very short price favourite around the dollar forty mark. I don't really want to take a dollar forty Millwood Faith in any race, to be honest. She does look the leader, and there's no pressure in the event. Uh, but uh, as I said, she doesn't represent any value at $1.40. So I'd rather be uh, looking at a horse like the Featherfoot who'll follow the peg line, probably be uh, three fence on the back of Cromack Jamie and just needing the splits at the top of the straight. And he'll certainly, as I said, on an each way or maybe a uh, more for the place basis represents good value at around about the $11 mark. Other value on tonight's program I thought was in race five, number four, Awesome Teddy. It's currently around about $23, $25 with some fixed odds operators. I thought his run last Friday night was admirable when he was forced to, to uh, traipse three wide over the last lap in, uh, in better company than this. Uh, this race sets up okay for him. He's drawn in nicely there in four. Dis uh, Dashing Christian and better rules look the early speed in the race. Uh, Round about the $2.60 mark, Dashing Christian. You could leave me out of that. He's a much better leader than he is uh, anything else, and he's certainly drawn to get that run tonight. But better rules does get out very quickly, and he's certainly some chance of crossing him. So at around about the $23 mark, I think uh, Awesome Teddy, again, on an each-way basis, represents very good value.